Video 13.3, Pergolesi's Earliest Mass Setting. Shown here is an early keyboard work on a tavolatura by Gaetano Greco, who was a teacher of Pergolesi. Notice that there's only one note at a time in either hand. This is something a little boy could play, but it did teach important schemas there's an opening gambit, a printer repost, then a modulating printer, which takes us to G major, a cadence, and then a rising sequence, which brings us back to C major. And the rising sequence alternates the intervals of six and five above the bass. Let's listen to the first part of this. So that rising sequence could have been learned by Pergolesi when he was uh, a child and stuck with him then uh, through the rest of his professional life, which unfortunately was rather short. He died in his 20s. Here's the same rising 5-6 sequence in Pergolesi's first mass setting. indeed masterful and uh, shows how students can often outstrip uh, their teachers. In another passage in Pergolesi's early mass, we find a large printer schema, each stage of which is decorated with nine eight suspensions. Here is that same pattern from one of the rules of Durante. So that was the, the model that one learned as a boy. Here's the same Brenner schema with the same 9-8 suspensions in this early mass of Pergolesi. It's a wonderful work, really beautiful, terrific craftsmanship. In terms of music history, Gaetano Greco was a master. Pergolesi became a master. And then we might say he became a master with a capital M. He became uh, an important figure in 18th century musical history. <laughs> 